you join us. Moving on here on today's Eyewitness Newsreel, a new careers and a brand new school year. Let's roll it. Say hello to the largest number of men and women ever to enter Passaic County's Police Academy. After today's swearing-in ceremony, 26 recruits enter a rigorous 21-week training course. Good luck to y'all. And it's graduation day for 129 new EMS technicians at Randall's Island. They're now ready to join New York's bravest. And congratulations to you, too. A bird in a hand is indeed worth two in the bush. Urban park officers are tagging barn owls at Marine Park's Nature Center. All this to help conserve country birds flying through the city's wide open spaces. And her name is Sophie Sorrow, but you can call her Rosie the Riveter. 90-year-old Sophie worked as a military plane riveter during World War II. Now today at Republic Airport in Farmingdale, American Air Power Museum honored Sophie and all the Rosies who helped America win that war. And that's how we tip our wing on today's Eyewitness Newsreel. Good for her. Mm -hmm. Coming up, a special treat, and this one is for adults. Next on Eyewitness News, it's pastry with an Italian flair, and all you have to do is travel to a local neighborhood. Sam, stop eating the cookies. Don't miss our very special encore of Power Players from Washington, D.C. All this week on Jeopardy! Tonight at 7 on ABC7. <laughs> Skip the department store runaround. Go straight to Marshall's because having style is knowing where to find it and where to find it for less. The brands, the prices, the possibilities. Marshalls. You know what this family needs to do. Rip and dip. Nothing livens up the ripping and dipping like Pizza Hut's Twisted Crust Pizza. Look at that. Breadsticks baked right into the crust. It's twisted fun. Get a large one-topping Twisted Crust Pizza with your choice of two delectable dipping sauces for just $10.99. With a soft breadstick crust, you can start your family ripping and dipping, tearing and sharing. Whoa, 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 we're not done ripping and dipping. Yeah. You can only have fun like this when you gather around the good stuff. This summer, a family will start a whole new tradition. A native trout will test a man's strength. A woman will reach the outer limits of herself and friends will relive old times on new trails. Discover a whole new world right in your own backyard. See what's new in New Jersey. Oh, she could really go places with Flonase. Allegra is approved to treat nasal and non-nasal symptoms from just one cause. Zyrtec and Claritin are approved to treat nasal and non-nasal symptoms from just two causes. Only Flonase is approved to treat nasal symptoms from all three. Outdoor allergies, indoor allergies, and environmental troublemakers. For best results, use daily. Side effects are generally mild and may include headache, nosebleed, and sore throat. I came back. I needed a refill. Talk to your doctor about Flonase. Coming soon to ABC7. All new action. All new comedy. Show me what you got. Hey. An all new season of Monday Night Football. And you can watch it all right here on ABC7 in high definition television. If your cable system doesn't offer ABC7 in high definition, you're not getting the whole picture. Call 1 800 OK Cable right now. Get the best ABC7 has to offer in high definition. This is going to be good. Your Mercedes-Benz Tri-State dealers invite you to the C-Sports Spin Drive event featuring the 2005 C-230 Sports Series. Test drive and receive a comp ticket for the New York Comedy Festival. Join us September 12th at Nassau Coliseum. For more info, go to 7online.com. 
Welcome back. We're in for a beautiful holiday weekend here, mm -hmm. but our friends down in Florida are really bracing for some awful stuff. Yeah, not so good. There is good news in the fact that Francis has weakened a lot overnight tonight, overnight last night, and is expected to kind of make land uh, fall as a Category 2, Category 3 storm instead of a Category 4. That was its top strength. Well, with that news, it's still going to be a rough storm, and I think its signature will be an awful lot of very heavy rain. Fort Pierce, Florida, our Lisa Calagrasi is standing down there, and so we're using her camera to kind of show you what it looks like when we joined her last there was a band of wind and rain that moved through and now look how dry this all is well AccuTrack, which of course is the best way to see anything falling out of the sky and we've got it there's Fort Pierce right there. So you can see how it's right in between a band of rain that has already passed in, and that's why the skies have opened up in this little area of dry air here and look so good and dry. They're not too far away from the next band of rain, and that's the way this works on the far outside fringe of a storm like this. Look all the way closer toward the center near Grand Bahama Island, and you can see the bands of rain that extend from it. Just little bands of rain, and that's the way it'll be until they get closer to the edge of the storm. Here's the big radar view, and we'll show you the swirl that's down to the south. We were looking at the close up view of that. That's why that looks so familiar. We were zoomed in right on top of it using AccuTrack, so that's the way it looks in the broad view. There's the swirl of clouds that are on top of the rain, so as we zoom up underneath that, it is still a very strong storm, a uh, minimal category three. The, cr the crux there is about 111 miles per hour if it drops below that, and right now it's at 120 it would be a category two storm, still a very powerful hurricane. And this one, we're going to be watching a lot of the wind and rain that 80 mile radius out of the center of this storm for the hurricane force winds, which means it doesn't have to get too much closer before they start feeling those hurricane force winds. Lisa gave you a wind measurement of about 41 and that's tropical storm force winds already in the band up against Florida's coastline. Hurricane warnings is sent from Flagler Beach all the way to Florida City, and it does look like this storm will kind of pick a spot for landfall somewhere in that middle Florida coastline by Saturday into Sunday. We're saying 8 a.m. Sunday as the storm slows down. It'll probably find a spot somewhere uh, near that north of Palm Beach and south of Melbourne area. But again, hands up in the air when this thing slows down overnight tonight and we'll all have to retime it at that point. 62 to 68 degrees is our low temperature range up and down the Hudson Valley with plenty of clear skies. And as you head into your holiday weekend, know that Saturday is the warm day. Sunday's the cool day. Both look good and so does Monday. Last time that happened, three nice days on a holiday weekend, 86 degrees, warm and sunny. That's because that area of high pressure and a look at your five day just to prove it. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, your forecast days. It's sometime Tuesday into Wednesday that we feel that we'll be pulling some rain up from the deep south. Could be as early as Tuesday for us, but we get through the holiday weekend with just a cool end of it. Sunday, some cooler air drops in with a backdoor front and that keeps us cool Sunday and Monday in the 70s. Mm, love that. Love it, yeah. Very yeah. nice. You betcha. Thanks, Thanks Sam. Sam. Well, if you've had a long week, this is a long holiday weekend ahead of us. What a good time for something sweet. You've had a long week, so this is good for you. It's been a long week. Yeah, for this week's Neighborhood Eats, we take you to a pastry shop on Staten Island. Luigi's Dolceria is located at 4060 Highland Boulevard in the Great Kills section, and you can probably just follow your nose to find it. Just off Highland Boulevard in the Great Kills section of Staten Island is the sweet world of Luigi's Dolceria. Pastries filled with cream, treats topped with strawberries, cookies sprinkled with fun, and everything's filled with the flavors of Italy. Consider the pignoli cookie. Its ingredients include pignoli nuts, almond oil, almond paste, and almond flour. It's all mixed together and rolled into little meatballs. They're popular throughout Italy, but Luigi De Rosa says this cookie originated in Sicily. I was born in Sicily. So that's why you really like these right. cookies. Right. <laughs> Let's tell the truth. Yep. Luigi first made pignoli cookies at a bakery called Alba's in Brooklyn. It closed after 78 years in March, and that's when Luigi and his partner, Enzo Parascondolo, opened their bakery on Staten Island. I bought a sixth anniversary wedding cake for my daughter, which I buy for her and her husband every year. The original wedding cake came from Alba's, and Sal Genova says this one's exactly the same. There's banana, walnut, three layers of chocolate sponge cake. Homemade gelato is a refreshing summertime treat, and even sweeter, the fact that Luigi and his wife, Comchetta, met over these desserts when they worked at Alba's. I was a solo's girl, and there was a baker, and um, we just liked each other, we started to go out, and we ended up getting married. Decades of tradition go into those desserts, like marzipan fruits, 
All are easy to eat and clearly not so easy to make. They don't look so good. No, that's okay. But you they'll know, taste they'll, good, right? The taste is good anyway. Yeah. <laughs> not so easy to make, but you know what? If you want to give it a try, go for it. The ingredients are on your screen. And I've looked at a lot of mm. different recipes for this. <laughs> this version yeah. has many more ingredients. The almond flavors really that's mm. what Sam has in that, I'm telling you, that's that. delicious. Yeah, how many do you have over there, Sam? Um, I, His hand kept going. <laughs> I got powder all over me now. The full recipe is at 7online.com, mm. and uh, Luigi's is open from 8 in the morning till midnight for your late night sugar cravings. Yeah, just what we need about 16 hours of I eating cookies. I'll tell you. And all if right. they gave us the recipe for this cookie, go online and get it's it. It's on it's a there. Great yeah, it's we'll good. Be right back. I'll dig mm. it. Man, this is good. Okay. Okay, here are the facts. You're looking at Mr. Opportunity, I'm looking at a beautiful Civic, and lucky break for you, Honda is having a clearance. Now listen, there's a chance for big savings here, people. So say it with me. Right place, right time, right now. The 2004 Honda clearance. Hey, you wait, you're gonna be late. Now you can lease a new Civic value package for $159 a month for 36 months at where? Your Honda dealer. Good. I'm Mr. Opportunity, and I am still knocking. Here's some big news. Introducing Popeye's enormous new super popcorn chicken. Massive all-white meat chicken for only $2.99. He said he was just an average Joe, but his sense of style? A+. Plus. Hmm. European crystal. Turkish towels. Talk about an international man of mystery. At Home Goods, the only thing more thrilling than the home fashions are the savings, up to 60% less every day. And with fresh arrivals daily, there's a new thrill every time you shop. Home Goods, irresistible finds, exceptional prices. You can run an eight minute mile, eat right, look great, never touch a cigarette, and still be at risk for breast cancer. That's why there's a new law in New Jersey that doubles funding to provide free cancer screenings for women who can't afford them. Get a mammogram, because early detection is the best protection. Right now, you can find the soul of a sports car in more new Mazdas than ever. And during Mazda's Choose and Cruise sales event, for a limited time, choose from a variety of offers on a great selection of new Mazdas, including low APR financing or great cash back or special lease offers. Like 0.0% limited term APR financing or up to 3,500 cash back. So no matter how you want your exclusive, get to your Mazda dealer for a test drive and cruise away with great savings. Hurry, these offers end September 6th. Not everyone with bad eyesight can have the popular LASIK surgery to correct their vision. Like moi. Hmm. But now, soon, there could be a new option that involves permanent contact lenses. Seven's on call with Dr. Jay Adlersberg. Jay? Lauren and Bill, everyone thinks that contact lenses are worn on the outside of the eye, and innovation in design now means they can be inserted into the eye itself. It's the perfect solution for people who no longer want their glasses or lenses, but can't have LASIK or don't want to risk it. Great. So push your forehead against the bar. Peggy Clark has something in her eye. It's not what you might think, an eyelash or a speck of dirt. It's this tiny lens designed to correct the nearsightedness she's dealt with all her life. I've been wearing glasses and contact lenses for 30 years, and I have never wanted to wear glasses or contact lenses at all. LASIK surgery, where doctors reshape the surface of the cornea to improve vision, was not an option for Peggy. Her eyeglass prescription was too strong, and her corneas were not thick enough to safely remove a layer. She had the lens surgery on one eye. Doctors inserted this lens between her cornea and the colored iris. The whole thing took about a half an hour. The best candidate would be someone between the ages of of 21 and 55 who has uh, a high amount of nearsightedness uh, and in terms of numbers we're talking about a prescription over the uh, over minus eight. The lens can also correct farsightedness. It can always be removed if better treatments come along. People with diabetes or glaucoma should probably not have the lens. Complications may include vision with glare or halos and a small number of cases of eye inflammation and clouding of some areas of vision. Hey. It's Chuck Thompson. Oh, how did your surgery go? It went really well. Chuck Thompson recently had both eyes done three months apart. 
I mean, honestly, the, the little things are what make the biggest difference. You know, I can get up in the morning, I can see my alarm clock, I can, you know, I can work and not have to worry about my contacts drying out. I'll do it again in a heartbeat. The FDA will probably approve this surgery for general use very soon. At that point, both eyes can be operated one month apart instead of three. For more, see our website, 7online.com. Lauren, Bill. Thank you, Dr. J. Well, thank you for staying with us. I'm Lauren Glassberg. Eyewitness News at 6 starts now. This is Eyewitness News, the news leader, with Bill Ritter and Liz Cho, Scott Clark with sports, and Sam Champion with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Now, Eyewitness News at 6. Former President Bill Clinton tonight in a New York City hospital getting ready for major bypass heart surgery. Plus, Hurricane Francis may have slowed down a bit. She's still a powerful storm, and Florida is still bracing for a direct hit. Good evening, everyone. Liz is off tonight. Complete coverage of the hurricane coming up, but we begin with Bill Clinton, and tonight he is indeed in the hospital getting ready for quadruple heart bypass surgery. Mr. Clinton complained of chest pains last night. His doctors put him through some tests today and then immediately ordered the heart surgery. It will happen at Columbia New York Presbyterian Hospital. That's where N.J. Burkett is with late details. Newt. And Bill, Bill Clinton was rushed here late this morning, and by all accounts, his heart is seriously blocked. Senator Hillary Clinton arrived here about two and a half hours ago after telling reporters that the operation needed to be done, in her words, as soon as possible. Senator Hillary Clinton rushed to her husband's bedside this afternoon, avoiding the media through a secure side door after canceling a public appearance this morning in Syracuse. 